Okay, I just did a video on this and um, the video got ruined. I, I have it on the other phone. I don't know. It just didn't uh, got deleted before I could do anything with it. Or it vanished. I can't say that it got deleted. It just vanished. But anyways, uh, so I'm going to redo it. And what it, this is is a dresser that I picked up from somebody who was just getting rid of it because it had some damage to it. So I fixed the damage and uh, painted it up. And I like doing this kind of shit with furniture and stuff. I did a video the other day because um, what I'm trying to point out as I do this stuff is things with human influence. So I went and did what we would call a faux finish. Um, we would call that the red that I put on the other day with the brush. Just did my own personal faux. I'm going to um, change that look. But what I'm trying to get through to you, to anybody that comes to these videos... This will be on the West Coast Cat 2020 series. And, um, I'm asking you to use your imagination to try to put other things in into this imagery that I'm explaining to you. Because people are going to get confused with this. They do get confused with this and call what I'm about to show you imagination and call the life that they're living true, true to life. And it's actually the other way around. Or maybe you can throw some of your true to life into the mix. But first things first. So anyway, so what I'm doing here is this is digital collection of electromagnetic nanocarbon uh, with hum that that has human influence. Everything seems to have human influence, so like Rick was pointing out into the tripping sponge. Um, everything has human influence. I'm pulling in l different lights for my lights and shadows across this stuff as I start looking into it. And I'll be working my lights and shadows. I'm going to use some filters to add contrast. Um, but I believe we were supposed to be seeing this all along. And we were duped um, as we went along. So the top of this has only been uh, clear coated, uh, stained and clear coated. So this is the natural wood grain. And as you can see, it looks like... Um, it looks like it was glued several pieces uh, maybe possibly we'll see we'll see what happens when I look across real tight let's see we're gonna see if the grain follows and it does the grain does follow along that line so it's the same piece of wood Okay, all right, so um, because this is wood, um, natural, this is all natural, I'm seeing the imagery in there as I'm talking, that's why I'm saying, uh, talking funny, and I'm really not in the mood to do videos, but I want to get some of these research vids done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on um, a filter, I have not looked in on the top of this thing at all yet, so this will be my first time too, I'm going to play with colors, I'm going to play with shadows and see what I'm better off doing. This one here is a um, Edison light bulb. I got the Edison light bulb on and the black light. So let me turn that one off. The red. The red's helping me. Let's see. Okay, so the red's helping. That one's not too bad either. So let's do this. Oof. Too dark for them. Yeah, I do see a lot, but I think I need to do something with my shadows in order to show you guys this. Or if I come down to the edge, let's see. It's better. It's a little better. 
Yeah, see, in order to show others, you're definitely going to have to get a hand on working the angles. So what I'm going to be looking for is, am I going to be seeing a difference in the imagery from this wood grain, the natural wood grain? It's fucking filled with imagery. It's banging. It's fucking banging. Um, feline canine rode an ape human and beast. So far, so good. I'm still looking for more feline, but. This is just a research bit. I'll grab you all the imagery out of it later when I hit the uh, computer. I mean, it's filled with imagery. Your eyes hopefully should start picking it up right now. See, I was just saying in the other video about the rows of faces, you know. Once you find a row, go ahead with it. Go down the whole row. Take let your camera take as its face within face within face. Within. I'll show you when I get down to my paint. Oh, my fucking stick with me. All in here. Let's just start watching these faces as I go down the line. trying to stay online for you just faces and in, in the grain okay but they all have eyes noses and mouths so you have to use your lights and shadows to go around and get them more defined like I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna try to do right now there you go I'm going in a little bit getting you some more of them oops Try to get that, rid of that glare for you, because who knows, I might not transfer good. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll try this first before I get too happy about showing it to you, because you got to make sure that it's going to transfer. Fucking incredible, man. So this is a yellow filter on here. Let's go with a red. See if I can help anything with a red filter. Might get more glare. Yeah, this might get more glare if I just go by the light. Let's try this. That might not be so bad. There you go, there's a bunch of human faces, a whole row of them. I'm going to try cropping them as I go. Came in. I think the red filter is going to be too much. Too dark. I'll try it. I'm at nine minutes. Okay, nine minutes in the wood grain. few more minutes and then I'm gonna pop over to something else. I like the yellow filter better.
Oh, I forgot <laughs> something else I was supposed to do. Hold on a minute. If I turn my camera down ups, upside down on my uh, tripod, a lot of times I can get things a lot more clear. Because I can get closer. It's like looking at chemtrails, you know. Just watch. Start. Uh, I'm gonna, I can start anywhere. But look at the rows and rows of faces. Follow the dark faces if you want. They'll probably be easier for your eyes, right? Look at them all. Rows and rows and rows of little faces. Because you can go in on them deeper to make sure that their faces. It's like they are out here at every other fucking size. Alright, so it doesn't work good going right into the light, but let's try this. I'm trying different angles and different grains. Okay, so I got some kind of light. sucks. Fuck. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Rooney.
going in heavy on uh, this right here, this image. The big schnoz. I'm laying down on the floor sideways looking at this, so it's always difficult to do that. But it won't matter once I go do the remaster of it. I'm seeing some really neat shit. Oh, man. Uh, the point I was making on the other video that I was trying to make was that you know, use your imagination to try to see something outside the feline canine, ape, or human and beast. Like with some of these swishes and swirls and stuff like that, try to get a pine tree shape or a, uh, something uh, like that, or, or even the birds. Try to get a bird in there. Um, it doesn't happen. You know, a full bird with wings and shit like that. I know, I've been trying for over a year. This doesn't fucking happen. It's a full size one. I'll be able to get good for you. Let me go do this. Quite a few of them, actually. They're <laughs> pretty fucking crazy looking. Yeah, so even wood to wood, um, there's three different hardwoods on this dresser that it's made out of. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. Now, I, I, again, I don't usually like to do this, uh, you know, stuff like this with human influence. in here anyway and it's a good way to you know show people because that's what people are going to tell themselves that's what they've been telling themselves for thousands of years it's your imagination it's my imagination go to the therapist and they'll give you ink blots think about how fucking silly ink blots are now you know finding the system it's all part of the fucking setup
if they see what's in the ink blots and they take the ink blots for what they are and they actually see what is in there, then that's it. They're considered insane. Because that's what we're looking at right here. Same thing. This camera blows. Compared to the other one. That's alright. I'll use it for what I can. <clears throat> Fucking awesome, man. See, like, this looks bird family to me at this angle. If I can get my finger to work it from there. They always go out. I'm not going to try to point anything. It's too difficult. Just wait till I get it back behind the computer.
Alright, this is a shittier camera too, so I don't know how it's going to come out. We'll try it. 